everyone, as requested, we have my 2021 in the bag video today. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run through all my discs, what I'm throwing, what molds and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my putting putters. I'm putting with the Brody Roaches. Um, I love the feel of these, the plastic is amazing. Um, so yeah, I've been putting with these pretty much ever since they came out about, I don't know, maybe five months ago. All right, now on to some throwing putters. Um, we'll start off with the Nova. Really, the only reason I throw this is if I'm like just out of um, jump putt range and need something to land flat, and if I, especially if I want to miss right, make sure I don't go left. Um, next, I have a Tour Series Luna. This is mainly for um, off the tee if I want to make sure I get a little Anheuser shot, especially in the woods and whatnot. I really like this disc. Um, next. We have an Infinite Discs Tomb. This is my straight flyer. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this disc. Um, you've probably seen me throw the orange one if you watch my channel. Um, but this is new to the bag this year. Metal Flake. Love it. Next, we have a Jawbreaker Zone. This one's new to my bag. I need to break it in a little bit. Kind of um, the more understable of the zones. Goes pretty straight. I like it for forehands more than the tomb. That's why I use it. And then we have my workhorse zone, the Crystal Flex. This is from last year's Lightstone Drop. Really love this disc for forehands, back high, backhands, any short of hyzer approach. And then this isn't really an approach disc. This is kind of my go-to disc, the Tilt. Um, mainly it's in, it's in my bag for two reasons. One reason, it's just fun to throw and mess around with. And two, for um, I like it for grenades, spike hyzers if I need to go over something. And also in the woods, if I'm in a really sticky situation, I need something to go far left or far right. I'll throw this. Okay, now we're on to the mid ranges. Uh, we'll start with my Z Meteor. It's uh, my number on it. Um, Z Meteor is for um, kind of like the same thing with my Luna. If I need something to go right and hold it, or if I want to throw something slow, make sure I hit a gap, I might throw the Meteor and make it go straight. Um, next we have a ESP Buzz SS. This is uh, from the 2019 Tour Series, I think. Um, again, this is more um, just straight to a little bit of ante. And I like it for forehand ante shots, like if I'm in a really sticky situation. So that's the Buzz SS. And now my workhorse mid-ranges, I have two C-Line uh, MD3s. Uh, they're pretty similar. Um, these go straight, or if I want to, something to make sure it finishes a little left, I'll go with the MD3s. Um, and for my overstable mid-range, I have the Prototype Malta. Um, I like throwing this thing flat and just know it'll finish left. Really trusty. Alright, now onto some fairways. Uh, we'll start with um, this Factory Second um, Champion T-Bird. This is kind of my straight flyer. Um, to a little bit understable fairway driver. And then we have the Instinct. Very similar to the T-Bird. This one's a little more stable though, so if I want to make sure it finishes left, I'll go with the Instinct. All right, next we have uh, Dismania Essence. Shout out to Logan for dying this one for me. Um, this is roller disc, um, hyzer flips, big ante shots, really anything understable. I'm going for this guy. And now for some overstable stuff, we have a Nate Sexton Firebird. Um, sadly, I just threw one of these in the pond, so this is my next one up. And then if I need something to push a little bit straighter, I'll go with my Eulabari Raptor. Um, this one's slightly understable, really. It goes pretty straight. If I put on hyzer, we'll hold the hyzer. All right, now we're getting into some control driver-ish things. We have this Paige Pierce Undertaker. This one has some sweet scrolls on it. Love it, straight shots in the woods especially. Next, we have an ESP Vulture. This is just a tad more stable than the Undertaker, so if I want to make sure and miss left, then this one will just fade a little bit for me. All right, now we have two Onyxes. Um, they're pretty similar, I think. This 1060 Onyx is a little bit more stable, but it's got some six swirls on it too. But yeah, these are for 
if I want to throw something far, but make sure it's controlled, this is what I'm going for. Really straight with a consistent, reliable finish. All right, now we're going into the distance drivers. For anything understable, I'm going with the Hades, or if I need a roller. I don't really throw this that much, but if there's a big tailwind or if I need something to finish right, I'll go with the Hades. Um, next up, we have a Star Corvette. This is if I kind of want to throw something far and straight, um, nice and controlled. And then we have my main distance drivers. We have two DD3s S-Line. Um, I love these things. I can really put on any angle and trust where it's going. And they bomb. These things go far. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. All right, and lastly, we have a PD2 and a Force. The PD2 is a little um, thinner profile. It'll push a little straighter. And the Force is just an absolute meat hook. So if it's windy, I'm throwing these. Sorry about my dog again. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my in the bag for 2021.